tell me what archaeology is? When you search for bones, yeah, that's part of it. And it could also be looking for things that may not be stuff, but you're looking for evidence of people being there. And you're going to have spoons and a little paintbrush. Does anybody know what the no, paintbrush is for? Dusting off the object. That's, that's exactly right. Oh, that's oh, no, that's the sand okay. of the item down, 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 down. It looks like a piece, a piece of ceramic. Maybe like a, a it's cup? A coffee cup. It's a coffee cup? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pot? It's like a pot. No, it's coffee cup. Object one key. It's five inches straight. It's five inches long? Or centimeters, those are centimeters. No, he's not, he's not doing it right. Look. I think you got everything for your mom. We did your thumb and your and your uh, uh, pointing finger like this. There's a muscle here in each hand that you use for milking cows. And that muscle is when you bring that hand down and you squeeze it against the thumb and pull it, that helps the cow. Let's all practice it. One, two, three. Good. Two children with his first wife, which he died, and then he had three children by his second wife, which were born in this house. This house was built in 1852. Do we have any mathematicians that can tell me how old this house is? 165. 165 years. Their bedroom. Does this look like your parents' master bedroom at home? No. Now, how is it different? There's no laundry on the floor. <laughs> Do you see any electric lights in here? No. Why do you don't think they have electric lights? They were not invented. They were not invented. They did not have electricity. helping mama sweep the floor. Hey, does your room look like this? No. Oh boy, you guys would be sorry. Okay, this is a sedge, sedge broom broom, or broom straw they call it. It grows wild in the fields, and you cut it in the fall, and tie it in bundles, and you sweep the floor. You see this little square box over there? That's a hand dug well. It's 40 feet deep, and you would have a pulley with a chain and you would lower it in and pull it up and pull the water. And that's the water you would use. And then, inside the shed, you'd have tubs of water with buckets in it, and you would have vegetables and milk and butter and stuff like that.